We're Trent and Ellie, and after a relaxing Christmas break, we made it back home. This is not exactly the situation I expected us to come home to. No, I thought it would be a lot better than this. <laughs> We're normally prepared to handle tough living conditions, but... Basically tonight is just an exciting nightmare. We have no power. We have no water. We have no heat. We're staying positive. Uh, I quit. <laughs> and ready to tackle the rest of the build. Now that it's nice and sunny out, you want to do the deck? No. <laughs> I decided the deck has too many screws. <laughs> I'm just going to glue the rest of the boards down. <laughs> Subscribe and come along today as we try to solve some major problems. This is a good example of when uh, good ideas go bad. Normally we start our videos early in the morning getting ready for a fresh day of work. And it's actually late at night and we are having a lot of problems. I wanted to show you guys what life looks like when things aren't going according to plan because tonight is the epitome of that. We have no power. We have no water. We have no heat. Things are not looking good. Oh boy. We signed up for this, huh? Yeah, we did. <laughs> and uh, this is a good example of when uh, good ideas go bad. Honestly, uh, this probably would have been fine if we left the water on, but the problem is we left the heat tape plugged in and this was super insulated we shut the water off in case there was a leak or we had any issues. Basically an empty pipe with no water in it. Got way, way, way too hot. So I got some new heat tape after this got disintegrated. I'm gonna put the heat tape on the pipe and then uh, I'm gonna try to cover it with one of these metal exhaust pipes again, but I'm not gonna wrap the fiberglass insulation on there because I think I made it too warm. <laughs> I, think, I think that's the problem is, uh, <laughs> It was too good. I made it way too warm. It was just too good. <laughs> this is what happens when you go on vacation. Like most people, as soon as you go on vacation, you like get sick and you can't enjoy your vacation. Mm -hmm. That didn't happen to us. It, we just had to wait until we get back <laughs> and then we have all these problems to deal with. Things are crazy, but <sighs> should have this up and running in no time. So that's gonna go get plugged in where the heat tape is plugged in. Should I unplug the heat tape? Yep. Okay. So you might be asking yourselves, you guys, why are you doing this at 10 o'clock at night when it's 15 degrees outside? Wait until tomorrow when it's sunny and warm. Water can wait, it's not a big deal. And you're right, except for that, what's going on inside the trailer is actually like a hundred times worse. And so we're biding our time when all we can do right now is wait and replacing the hose. The problem, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear all this beeping, is that our batteries are dead. Our breaker got tripped at some point today and it drained everything down. Of course, there's no solar because Terry is under this big temporary garage. So we got back from grocery shopping, doing all of our errands, and we realized that the batteries had been drained down all the way. So our batteries are at 9.3 volts. Um, when we found it this evening, it was at 8.9 volts. So it's going up, it's going in the right direction, but the inverter will not turn on. The main objective for tonight is to get the power on. Now, we're plugged in and our inverter is getting power to it, but the inverter won't power on unless it's connected to a battery that has like at least enough juice to tell it that there's a battery connected to it. Now I have this little itty bitty trickle charger that's supposed to reactivate the batteries if they ever get into a mode like this where they've just been drained uh, over discharged. Basically tonight is just an exciting nightmare. So <laughs> we'll uh, try and finish working on the hose right now and get that all connected. And then I guess we're just gonna sit and watch the voltage rise for the next <laughs> seven hours or however long it takes. Great. It's always going up. It's just uh, been like 40 minutes and it's only gone up like 0.2. This is not exactly the situation I expected us to come home to. No, I thought it would be a lot better than this. <laughs> <laughs> that hose is out of the way. So the problem is this had a bunch of pinhole leaks in it. It wasn't working anymore. We needed to replace it. Just... What a better time than when <laughs> our power is out and it's freezing. <laughs> exactly. Now, uh, normally I would be very hesitant to start working outside when it's cold like this if we can't go inside and warm up. But we do have electric space heaters and we do have electricity. It's just Terry's electricity is not working. Complicated scenario. Okay, now what? Now 
of which the inverter turned off. I just went in and checked. The trickle charger has the batteries up to 9.4 volts, and I'm pretty sure that the inverter will turn on at 9.5. It's either 9.5 or 10.0, and we don't really get to choose right now, but if I could choose, I would choose 9.5. Also, we were wearing these masks because we were cutting fiberglass insulation off of the yard hydrant. Now there is no more fiberglass insulation, but it's very cold out, so neither of us have taken our masks off. It's kind of ironic that the side effect to wearing like one of the COVID masks is that your breath like actually keeps you warmer. <laughs> I've found myself multiple times lately while it's cold outside keeping my mask on because it keeps me warm. <laughs> I'm gonna feed this underneath the garage right here, and then uh, just need you to go inside and grab the other end. Okay. tape installed, got the new hose put on, got the other end connected. So the hose and our water should be in good shape. It's not actually gonna get that cold tonight, so I'm not super concerned with it freezing if we do get power back on. 15 degrees for us isn't that cold anymore. <laughs> yeah, well, it's true. Actually, I think the low is nine, so maybe we do have to worry, but a frozen water pipe right now is not nearly as big of a concern as getting the power back on because that's what generates our furnace. Yeah, <laughs> like we want that more. Power. So um, we're gonna go see if the trickle charger has gotten the batteries up to 9.5. We're gonna see if that turns the inverter charger on, because then we can start charging the batteries with the inverter charger, and we can start using all the appliances, the computer, everything. <sighs> on top of this, we have a video that goes out at 7 a.m. Yeah. And it's about 10 p.m. Takes a couple hours for us to upload. So we're gonna be pulling an all-nighter basically, yeah. so we better go inside and see if that thing's working. All right, we're at 9.5. Okay. So. Fingers crossed, that's a really good sign. <sighs> Hopefully this works. Inverter, charger, on. Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. So I would say, that we plugged the trickle charger in about an hour ago and we've gained about four tenths of a volt. Now if we're at 9.5, that means we've got another hour or hour and 20 minutes before we can expect it to get to 10 volts. And I think 10 volts, very worst case, <laughs> it should turn the inverter on. Um, I'm really concerned. <laughs> this sucks. Like I said, worst comes to worst. We'll run an extension cord in, we'll hook up the, uh, the electric space heater and uh, warm the space up. There's just just other problems that uh, Turn that off. we have. What? Or just, you keep blinding us with your light. Oh, sorry. We're literally blinded by the light. I'm blinded by the light. Oh. <laughs> oh, careful. Sorry, it's a little dizzy in here. Uh, yeah, worst case scenario, we could pull the extension cord in here and get the heater on, but we do have the video to put out and so we're in a bit of a pickle. Yeah. <laughs> Not fun. At least Frank is good. Oh my gosh, look at him. <laughs> He's like seriously. Little raccoon eyes in the corner. Oh Are boy. You're just so happy over here. Just not having to deal with human problems. Yeah. It's nice and warm over here in the bed and comfortable. Like any moves of Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, his name is Greg. <laughs> well, we've been pretty much just sitting here in the dark, hanging out for the past maybe 45 minutes, just waiting for anything to happen and for an increase in the volts. It finally has reached 10 volts. We're about to try to turn on the inverter. Hopefully it turns on. Otherwise we're screwed. If it doesn't turn on when I flip this breaker, then uh, we're in we're in big trouble. So I have faith, confidence, but I'm also extremely nervous. Three, two, one. Oh! Yes! Yes! <laughs> I mean, I knew it was gonna happen. Woo! 
<laughs> oh, it's not even that cold out. It's 18. What's the temperature in here right now? 52. Oh my goodness. Terry held the heat pretty well. It's 18 outside. Yeah, it's true. 52 in here. It's pretty chilly. That was pretty nice. All right. Anyway, we've got a video to take care of. We're probably going to be up all night. We'll see you guys in the morning. Would you make me a call fear too? I don't want to head out half asleep. Swallowed a cannonball in my dream And it's pulling me back underneath my sheets As you guys saw, we had quite the exciting event happen last night. We ended up getting all the electricity fixed. Everything was good to go. The water was running. We were having no issues. It was like 12 degrees or 15 degrees. And I was kind of concerned that maybe the water might freeze because I didn't put insulation and another tube over the top of the yard hydrant because I didn't have another tube that fit. And much to my suspicion, we woke up this morning and the water's frozen again. Now I would have to make the observation that my life lately or our life living up here in the mountains is just one problem after another. But if everything went smoothly, I mean, it would just be a cakewalk and we would just be so overjoyed with happiness all the time. And to be completely honest, I actually am really grateful and I am overjoyed with happiness all the time. And I'm actually really happy when I solve the problems that we have. And that's like kind of how I grow is like I have to be challenged and solve problems. And so I'm happy for these problems. And once I get this yard hydrant to stop freezing, I'm going to be the happiest guy on the mountain. So. Give me one or two more days of getting parts and MacGyvering something together and we'll be good to go. But before that, we gotta get ready and then uh, Brandon's gonna be heading up here soon. We're gonna get to work on this deck. <sighs> we gotta get ready for the day first. So even though we're out of water, that is not gonna stop me from brushing my teeth. I hate the feeling of having gunk on my teeth in the morning. I'm gonna use my water bottle. And luckily, Tau Clean's Uma Diamond Sonic Toothbrush does an incredible job of keeping my mouth clean. Today's video is sponsored by Tau Clean. With 40,000 tiny brush strokes per minute, you'll sweep away plaque and polish away surface stains with their two modes, super clean and sensitive clean. Their docking station will make sure your toothbrush is always clean and charged. And their upgraded UVC base is clinically tested to kill 99.9% .9 of germs and viruses. If you're looking for an incredible toothbrush that'll keep bacteria at bay and keep you feeling fresh and clean, I highly recommend this one. If you're interested in picking one up, click the link in our description and use code Trent and Allie, and you'll get 50% off this entire system. Thanks again to Tau Clean for sponsoring today's video. Now we have to go unfreeze these pipes. <laughs> So we've had a lot of water freezing issues uh, throughout our entire time living up here. We knew that that would be inevitable and just part of the adventure of living in the mountains in a trailer in the snow. It's not really something I would recommend, but it has been a really fun learning experience. It's also really annoying when we wake up and the water's frozen. I don't think it's frozen here. Oh. Dude, I think the heat tape is doing its job. Oh. I got I got 55 pounds of pressure right here. Oh. The hose is frozen? I don't think so. No. Weird. What did your beard tell you? freezing. <laughs> Wait a minute. What What's happened? Going on? How did this happen? <laughs> Great. It's not even frozen anymore. Oh, that's awesome. 
Okay, so I guess 11 yeah. degrees was our threshold, and now that it's at 16 degrees, it just thawed itself out. Let me let me just go ahead and tell you guys, we're not making these problems <laughs> up. Like, <laughs> these are real problems. And uh, like I said earlier, I'm so happy now because <laughs> I solved the problem. Did I, you though? I didn't even have to do anything. I just had to go out and pretend to solve the problem. And oh my goodness. The powers that be. Someone invested. took pity on us. Yeah, someone, someone fixed our problem. It wasn't me. Cool. disaster in here. Yeah, who cleaned this place up? I totally thought it was cleaner than this when we left. <laughs> it feels so good to be back in here. I'm so excited to make this place our home, to not have to deal with electrical problems, water problems. <sighs> Look at our tree. It's doing pretty good. Yeah. One thing that I've noticed is that if you don't have a heated house, your tree doesn't dry out as quick. <laughs> also, so many people sent us ornaments and we left and then all these ornaments arrived and we didn't even get to put them on the tree and now it's like the middle of January. Like our tree next year is gonna have to be like 20 feet tall to fit all these amazing ornaments that we got. All the people that sent us stuff, whether it be ornaments or gifts or cards or letters or a drawing from your kids, we love it and thank you so much. It's still really cold outside and it's really nice inside, so I have a proposition for you. Let's not do the deck. I'm not, I, I quit. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing the deck anymore. I don't think it's supposed to snow for probably like at least a week. However, that doesn't have any guarantees for the yeah. elevation we're at. It can like not be forecasted to snow and it just snows anyways. I'm hoping that the sun will be warm enough to slowly kind of melt this, this snow that's on the deck or at least get it to where we can like shovel it off pretty easily. Once the deck is clear and we get the deck boards out of the snow, I can put, you know, the rest of the deck boards on. I do have to side with Allie that it is a great idea to not do the deck boards today. There's gonna be plenty of days when it's not 15 degrees outside and uh, those are the days that we're probably gonna do the decking. Right now, we're actually gonna go clean out the back of the truck and get it ready to go to BMC, and then as soon as Brandon shows up, we're gonna head down, pick up the lumber, we're coming back, and hopefully by the end of the day, I mean, it's gonna be a super simple wall to build, we're gonna have uh, this half wall built. Wow. That's good. You don't have to build this. I just can't do all this. Allie's professional at going down ladders, so I First thought I'd you give, you guys, give you guys a little, it's not a slide. Well, it might be. <laughs> it might be if you don't do it right. <laughs> Here's a uh, coyote right here. You may or may not be able to see him. He was just uh, feeding on this deer that got hit. And he definitely doesn't want to leave. He's bigger than Frank. Yeah, he's pretty large. That's insane. I thought that was a wolf. That's a huge coyote. Oh, that's an average sized coyote. That's how big they are. Really? Yeah, it's as coyote, big as a dog. <laughs> coyote is a descendant of a wolf. They're a type of wolf. Wow. They're not small. <laughs> they're like a they're like an Australian shepherd. Good, Good morning. morning. How you doing? Good, how are you guys? Good. Good. Did Excellent. you have a good Christmas? I did. How about, what about you New Year's? Yeah. Good? Good? All good. Ready nice. for 2021? I guess. <laughs> it's gotta be better than 2020, right? <laughs> it's too cold today to do anything. So we're not doing deck boards because it's just like frozen and everything's a nightmare up there. How do you feel about that? Is that okay? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna head over to BMC and pick up two by fours to start doing some of the interior walls. Okay. Yay! Let's do this. Cool. Let's go.
So I'm really excited to be getting this half wall built next to the stairs. And the main reason for that is once that half wall is in, then we will know exactly where our wood burning stove is gonna go. Then we can mark where the hole needs to be in the roof. I can go and buy all of the chimney pipe and we can get that baby installed. And then we don't have to use the candle anymore. We can use an actual wood burning stove that will heat the house probably hotter than we want it. And that's just fine with me because of how cold it is right now. I could really use a little heat. Just like you can never trust the forecast for whether it's gonna snow or not, you can also never trust the forecast for how warm it's gonna be. The high today, I think was like 25, and our car temperature gauge says 37. I'm like so hot right now in all the layers I have on. It's so sunny. I'm not complaining, I'm super excited, but I'm very surprised. So Brandon and I are gonna start carrying these boards into the house so that we can start building the half wall that goes around the stairs, and Allie is gonna get her favorite snow shovel, which is yellow, <laughs> and come out here and uh, Uncover the, these boards. Clear the snow off these boards so that the sun can kind of cool. thaw them out. Because right now they're like a big frozen chunk. We need them to thaw out a little bit. Let's do it. Feet, raindrops falling on the street. Are you dying in here? I'm, I'm dying. Well, I was dying when I was carrying all the two by fours, Woo! which was all about you know four minutes worth of carrying two by fours. And then I was like hot and sweaty, and I took the top of my overalls off, and now I've just been standing here thinking for a little while. <laughs> now I'm actually kind of cold. <laughs> We're uh, basically just getting this wall squared up, uh, figuring out where our bottom plate and this first stud is going to go. We're gonna kick that compressor on for the first time in 2021. Wow. We're gonna start building this wall. I'm so excited. This yeah. is cool. This is pretty sweet. Perfect. So Brandon and I were really worried that we might fall off of these stairs while we're setting up this half wall. So we're gonna put this piece of string from the top to the bottom <laughs> to catch us in case we fall. Our guardrail. This is our uh, OSHA approved guardrail. No, uh, we're basically, we've adjusted the height of our top and our bottom piece of this uh, half wall. And we've cut the angles and now we've uh, draped this chalk line from top to bottom. And then we're gonna stand up each stud, mark where it needs to be cut, cut it on the miter saw, install it. And then once the whole wall's built, we'll throw a top plate on it. So this is very dangerous. This is not a toy. Don't ever play with this when dad's not home. I'm gonna cut all of this out of the <laughs> All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is take this little uh, sharp part and stick it into the wood at an angle and depress it and then fire. You've never done this before. You've never done this before? I have done this before. I've done this before. No, you have. Okay. Yeah, that's good right there, hit it. Beautiful. Like a pro. How's it look? Like a prison wall. A prison wall? Like Brandon's in prison. <laughs> Could be worse. Not a very sturdy prison. <laughs> Love. So just like everything else, we're building this half wall, this like basically railing for the stairs ourselves. And there's been a huge debate between Trent and I on whether to have like beautiful ornate posts right here where the stairs turn 90 degrees and at the top of the stairs, or to just have it be like a sleek, much more modern version where there's no posts, there's one seamless wall. We're gonna go with the one seamless wall because it's much easier to build. It'll hopefully look a lot better when it's finished. And I think we're going for more of a modern, 
style on the house. There's going to be some cabiny touches. One of the things that makes something feel like a cabin is usually everything you look at, you're like, oh yeah, my uncle built that when he was 14. <laughs> and that's pretty much how our whole house is going to look. Like your uncle built it, who's not a carpenter. <laughs> not true, Trent. <laughs> oh no. Just kidding. Oh my god. All right, Allie. You ready? You, you ready to help build this wall? Let's do this. All right, guys, lift with your legs. Deep Go breaths. Ahead. Take it easy. Ah. Wow, you're so strong. Look at this. This is our bedroom wall. How cool is that? Wait, it's too short. Kidding. You're not tricking me. Just kidding. There's gonna be a double top plate here. It will be exactly that height. Don't worry. Who taught you this? Kevin. Kevin? <laughs> wow. We're a quarter of the way done with interior walls in the house. <laughs> I mean, seriously, after <laughs> we gotta build a doorway at the top of those stairs down there, and then we have to build the bathroom downstairs and the bathroom upstairs. <laughs> That's it. And then we're done. <laughs> and then we can move in. And then uh, it's like plumbing, electrical, HVAC, and then all the other stuff takes twice as long as everything else, so I don't even talk about it. But <laughs> I'm really excited because this went up really fast. Yeah. You said there's no blocking on this wall. There's Yikes. no blocking, but uh, I mean, that whole wall is like flimsy right now because there's nothing holding it together. There's no shear on it at all. Mm -hmm. And so once there's shear on just that wall, this will be a lot more solid. If you come visit our house, just don't try to like get a running head start and plow into this wall because it might don't fall Don't even over. touch it. This is for looks only. This is just to look at. <laughs> Allie and I are the only ones who can touch it. Maybe sometimes Brandon. <laughs> just so Let's build the bathrooms. Let's just keep going. I'm tired. <laughs> It's your first day back, Trent. I know, I'm still on vacation mode. <laughs> It's nice and sunny out. You want to do the deck? No. <laughs> I hate the deck. I decided the deck has too many screws. I'm just going to glue the rest of the boards down. <laughs> it's been a long time off, and even though I am kind of lazy and I like don't really want to get back to work, we're going to get back to work. We're going to try and finish the end of this half wall where it terminates on the landing, and then we're going to try and do some of the blocking in this tall, skinny, otherwise kind of floppy wall. Um, and if we have time, I think maybe we'll do the half wall that goes down over these three stairs right here. But I hope we don't have time. <laughs> oh, just that one. It's just a regular gable end wall. Little fella. Pretty cute. Just like being in here where it's like, oh, it's too warm. We've got to like take our coveralls off and like building all these interior walls. And then you like look up and I just remember climbing across the beam and like hanging all of the joists and like doing the sheathing and me and Brandon pulling off of each other to get like the, uh -uh. the tar and water or the uh, ice and water shield done. That was a nightmare. Mm -hmm. <sighs> We've been through a lot. <laughs> There's a couple of big things that still need to happen, but for the most part on the inside, it's what you said, plumbing, electrical, HVAC, and then like drywall and finish work. Yeah. So what's your estimate? When will we be done with this house? Don't even do it. Somebody Don't do it. <laughs> Don't even do it. Somebody uh somebody said in the comments, they said once you get to hanging drywall, you're halfway done. Oh no. <laughs> That's not what I want to hear. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah. Because there's just so much finish work and yeah. everything. I mean, you still have to frame the basement. We're not going to talk about the basement. We got to frame out the two bathrooms and then we can start doing plumbing and electrical, which will be an entire nightmare all on its own. And then we gotta do HVAC, which I have no freaking idea where to even start or what to do. 
even Kevin was like, yeah, I got a furnace and tried to put it in. I couldn't figure it out. So I just ended up having to hire somebody to do the HVAC. So. <laughs> So basically, if you're watching this and you have experience with HVAC or you're a professional HVACer, shoot us an email. Maybe we could run a couple ideas by you and you could make sure our system is legit for the house. It would be great to have that mapped out before the inspector shows up and says we have to redo everything. Or if you're an electrician or a plumber, you could also do this. <laughs> I, I, I'm willing to like, you know, have a conversation, especially if you like live in Utah yeah. and you're an electrician or a plumber and you want to like, let me buy you a cup of coffee and we can kind of talk about all the crap I got to do. That'd be awesome. That would be really awesome. So, yeah. All you Utah plumbers and electricians, hit us up. <laughs> TrentonAlley at gmail.com. <laughs> Well, there goes Brandon on our first day back. <laughs> it feels good. 2021. It feels good. We're I'm making, ready. We're making progress. Yeah. Not only did I magically thaw the water lines without even knowing that I did it yeah. this morning. I wonder what happened. Yeah. But then we ended up building all these half walls and got all that taken care of. We got the deck cleared. I mean. And our power <sighs> is back. That was the most stressful, I think. Yeah, I was trying knowing. to block that memory out because it was really traumatic. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on the video. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel so that you guys don't miss a future video. Thank you again to Tao Clean for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we will see you guys on the next Adios. one. Adios.